In my last video, I showed you how to make a two-dimensional video three-dimensional by overlaying the video track on top of itself and knocking out color channels and then shifting the frames left and right a few pixels to create depth. In this video, we're going to do a similar sort of thing, but what we're going to do instead of shifting the frames left and right to create the depth, we're going to delay the frames in the timeline by one or two frames. And as one frame drags behind the other, it will also create an offset and giving us a parallax 3D effect. So to get started, I've already imported my video and I have set up a sequence to suit the video. I'm going to drag it down to the timeline here. And as before in the last video, we're going to right click that and unlink it from the sound. We're going to copy it and we've already got our second channel here highlighted, so I'm going to paste that in. Now we have two copies of the same video. The top one from here on out we'll call, or video track two, we're going to call this our left channel and video one is going to be our right channel. So now we need to do the color correction as we did in the last video. In image control you'll find an effect called color balance. I'm going to drag that over to the left channel, drop him on there, and we're going to do it again for the right channel. Now with the left channel, we want that to be our red channel. So with that highlighted here, as you can see, we're going to take out the green to zero and the blue to zero. I'll just move the playhead there so you can see what it's done to the video. We've made it red, completely red. Now if we select this middle channel, we can turn the red channel off and have a quick look at it. You'll see that that's all looks normal. What we're going to do for the right channel, because we want this one to be our blue channel, we're going to knock the red out of it completely. Okay, so that makes that look bluey green. Now, we'll go back to the red channel, and what we want to do to make the two look like, uh, so we don't lose all of our colors and make everything look right again, we'll go to opacity, and our blend mode, and we'll click linear dodge, or add, which adds the two together. Now we'll turn the red channel back on so you can see it, and it looks like it did when we started. Okay, to create our anaglyph effect, what we're going to do is down at the bottom here, we're going to zoom right in as far as we can go. Now right back at the very beginning of the video, we'll click that. Okay, now we're going to take our top track, our left track, and we're going to move it one, two frames to the right. Now what that's done is offset the, the way that the two channels play. The red channel will be slightly ahead and that will give us our 3D effect. If I move our playhead back over it, if you look here you can see the gentleman's right arm, you can see that red color which is uh, giving us our anaglyph. Okay, now to tidy up I'm going to get the razor tool and I'm just going to snip that little bit there, snip that little bit there, Go back to our selection tool, and those two we're going to delete. Select all of the tracks and bring them right back to the beginning. I'm going to go right to the end of the video now. And again, going to select the razor tool and take off that little tiny little bit of the left channel. Select that, and delete it. Okay. And there we have it, it's all done, ready to export. Now to export, highlight our track here, we want the whole thing. We're gonna to go to media, there, and we wanna export it. And what I usually find the easiest way to do it is just go match sequence settings. So that's going to export our video in exactly the same format as our source video export and away we go and that's it once you're done you're ready to watch in 3d